Hey guys, this is the Begoed Master. I spent the last month writing it and now I wanna share my thoughts on it. But first, shout out to Alien Rides for sending me this wheel to review. Alien Rides offers a two year warranty on all their products. I purchased an NCM5 from Alien Rides over a year ago. The board went bad and their customer service took care of all the issues. And that was before Alien Rides sent me any wheels for testing. I'm going to go over every aspect of this EUC and tell you the pros and cons. First up is power. The master has an incredible amount of power, both low end torque and the incredible 55 miles per hour top speed. I have no complaints in the power department. Now let's talk about the next biggest factor regarding overall performance, the suspension. The suspension is very smooth, but it has some major issues. The shock needs to be pumped up to about 400 PSI for me, and I only weigh about 115 pounds. Even when the shock is pumped up to this pressure, it still bottoms out. When the shock bottoms out, the trolley handle pops up, which is very dangerous while riding. Another issue I've encountered is the air shock loses pressure, and I have to put more air in it every few days to keep it at the desired pressure. There are multiple third parties who make upgraded linkage for the master that is supposed to greatly improve the bottoming out problem, but I think you would also need to buy a new shock from a reputable shock manufacturer to make the master have good suspension. <laughs> so it bottoms out just a little bit, but uh, it's looking pretty well. The Master comes with a lot of features out of the box that are pretty nice. It has a big screen, which is big and easy to read, even in direct sunlight. It has a built-in seat, which is one of the best stock seats I've ever experienced. It's much better than the stock seat on the Kingsong S22. trolley handle works well, but it's a little flimsy and it will break easily if you're not careful. The master includes a button that acts as a lift switch. Pressing the button twice will put the master in a mode where you can lift the wheel without the wheel spinning. The included kickstand works as long as you use it on a hard level surface. It is better than the kickstand on the Nmotion V11, but worse than the one on the Kingsong S22. As you can see, it works best when it's on a hard level surface, and this one's not hard enough. <laughs> the headlights are good enough to use for nighttime, but there are wheels with better lights. On the other hand, the tail light is nearly useless. It's very dim, fragile, and it will be the first thing to break if you drop this wheel. The pedals are probably the best stock pedals that come on any unicycle. They are big, have excellent grip with replaceable spikes. The pedals are held in place with a friction system that can be tightened with a screw. The included pads are usable, but far from great. Once the stock pads are removed, it is difficult to replace them with aftermarket pads, unless you buy a fairing kit to give you a large flat surface for your pads. One of the only things that's missing from the master is front and rear bumpers or handles. 
This makes it very difficult to pick up the wheel and it results in the wheel getting damaged easily when it's dropped. Overall, I think that the Master is a solid wheel out of the box. It's likely the best street wasting wheel that you can buy, but it needs a lot of upgrades if you want to use it for off-roading or want it to be practical for everyday use. Thank you guys for watching my review. Keep riding.